what's up guys norchetto here thanks for stopping in today we're going over atl academy's fourth week of contender season three and their match versus first generation the day started on ruins where atlanta started with a goats variant with hawk on winston instead of diva and first generation answered with a similar comp except dropping the reinhardt for a doom fist this doesn't work out for them as atlanta sees the doom fist and plays around it eventually taking it out and dismantling the rest of first generation they end up swapping to three tanks, but thanks to Atlanta's trademark aggression, first gen can't even get to the point before they're engaged and pushed all the way back to spawn, answering ZP's question about whether or not you can spawn camp a team like first gen. Thanks to some huge gator charges and Ajax enabling quick movement in order to attack as well as retreat when needed, Atlanta stay in control until the end. Even with first generation starting to win the last fight, Atlanta's aggression holds them from even giving to the point long enough for overtime to tick down and Atlanta to take them out. We then move over to Lighthouse, where we see Goats again, but with Hawk back on the D.Va. First Generation is first to arrive at the point, but Atlanta doesn't care, moving in aggressively and, once again, thanks to a huge Gator charge to finish off Nomi on the Reinhardt, Atlanta is able to take the first point, despite First Gen taking the ground on the point first. First Generation's next push is stomped out fairly quickly, but unfortunately it's on the back of five ults, including a Hawk Bomb that ultimately wasn't even needed thanks to Ajax cleaning up the grab before the bomb could even go off. First Generation is able to come back and take the point, but not before Gator gets a hilarious charge on Nomi, carrying them both off to see the Ilio scenery off the map on the back side of the point. Atlanta is able to retake the point, though, but tries to repeat the Ruins ending where they prevented First Generation from fully making it to point. Unfortunately, it does not pay off, and Atlanta is picked apart, allowing for one final push to retake the point in order to win Ilios. But this isn't what happens, however, as Dogman is shattered and booped off the map from a First Gen Diva Bomb, which is the first domino to fall, leading to the collapse of ATL Academy's push. First generation takes Lighthouse, tying up Ilios 1-1. One one. Moving over to Well, Zapri goes back to the Doomfist for first generation, while Atlanta tries a 2-2-2 comp with McCree and Hanzo. Unfortunately, it does not work, and they're beaten by the 3-2-1 Doomfist comp, causing them to swap back to the tried-and-true 3-3 comp we all know it. Well, we all know it, at least. This still didn't work, as first generation was able to hold the point, even after losing their Reinhardt, due to a very effective Doomfist ult and a great boop on Sugar Free, as Dogman popped a Transcendence trying to save the push. Atlanta, looking a bit shook as First Generation is able to hold on to some of the more sustained fights, tries to get back to the point quickly and are met with some aggression from their opponent, who are countered by a saucy grab and some insane hawk play, allowing for the retake. Unfortunately, this set First Generation up with the tools they needed to retake the point and finish the map, despite some last-minute contesting and huge boops from Ajax. First Generation takes Ilios, giving them an early lead and giving ATL Academy their second map loss of the season. Next up was Numbani, where we got to see Dotes versus Dotes. First Generation tries repeatedly to remove ATL Academy from the high ground, but thanks to some great rotation, they couldn't secure any kills because of the discipline of ATL Academy to rotate out of the front lines in order to get healed up when needed. Again, the Atlanta aggression pays off with Saucy building an early grab causing a wipe, followed by a very messy push from First Gen that ends in Gator pushing them hard almost all the way back to their spawn in order to regroup. They do finally take the point off of a large ult investment without a whole lot of time left on the clock. Atlanta holds first gen at point for a full minute, most of that time without Gator even there. They do eventually push through, though, and are able to start moving the point away from point A. First generation has the ult advantage moving the point, but thanks to a huge Gator slam, Atlanta still takes the next fight and continues to play smart with their ults, staying alive and preventing any further push from first gen, stopping the payload midway between point A and point B. On attack, Gator scouts with a Sombra and chooses to emulate First Generation's push, except with a Reinhardt, which worked out much, much better for them, forcing First Gen off the high ground and taking the point, but the insane play does not take a break. Atlanta knows that First Generation will spawn before they cap the point, meaning they'll be at the front spawn, but they also recognize there's no way for them to make it back to the point to contest in time. So Atlanta leaves Dogman on the point to cap and pushes all the way into the spawn room as the point's capped, completely annihilating First Gen with a huge Hawk Bomb before they can regroup for a defense. They do stop the next push, but they attempt to pull an Atlanta Academy and spawn campus, which doesn't work at all, causing them to fall and for Atlanta to move the point, taking care of Trickle and taking Numbani, tying the day up one to one. On a Hanamura defense, where we once again choose to go with a Bastion May comp, with an Arissa to help dig in and defend the Bastion, but it's met with a Hanzo Farah comp designed to bust the shield, and it works. They do bust the shield and take out Saucy on the Bastion, but Atlanta digs in and Hawk does some major cleanup work, which makes it not enough for first gen and Atlanta is able to hold. Saucy comes back on the tracer in order to get back to the point quick, and it pays off tremendously as he helps to completely annihilate first gen. Some last dish aggression on the part of first gen pays off thanks to a large ult commitment as they push to the point with 15 seconds remaining and are able to cap point A. 
Moving on to point B, Atlanta swaps to the Symmetra Bastion comp that we've seen before and once again sets up on the high ground above the point to dig in behind the Orisa shield. It works beautifully as Saucy's Bastion is able to delete people before they get a chance to do anything. Farah tries to set up a barrage, but it doesn't work if you get deleted before you can even get in position to press Q. Even when First Gen is able to displace Atlanta with a Diva Bomb, Sugar Freeze barrier on Symmetra minimizes the impact and they're able to use their scrappiness to still win fights. My favorite part of this entire defense, though, is right before the last push from first gen. ATL Academy completely swaps their composition and strategy in order to negate whatever the plan was for the final push. But there was still the Doomfist ult to worry about. Or not, because Dogman on the Ana gets a massive sleep dart off before Doomfist can even pop the ult. He's then hacks, turning him from a Doomfist into more of a minor inconvenience fist. And Atlanta cleans up the rest of first gen and moves to attack with a strong point B hold. On to attack where Atlanta goes goats, as is tradition, and plays it smart, pushing in and taking a bit of damage, but knowing to back out and regroup before it gets out of hand. They reinitiate the push with Gator, and in Gator fashion, making a lot of opportunities for his team at the cost of his life. Saucy at this point is very, very charged up and is able to annihilate first gen and take point A, leaving seven minutes to take a single tick on point B. First generation tries to hold the high ground, but Atlanta says, why bother, and moves directly to the point. First Gen drops down to contest, but thanks to some great point A play, Saucy's ready with a grab and uses it to clean off the point and take point B, only about 45 seconds after taking point A. Atlanta takes Hanamura, putting them up 2-1. to one. On to Route 66, where Atlanta tries to defend very aggressively, rotating to First Generation's backline almost immediately, but First Gen is able to keep their cool and repel the push, taking out Atlanta early and starting the payload on its way. ATL is able to make it back to contest in front of the gas station, but it doesn't end up going well and they get shut down yet again. They do manage to make it back for a third time in order to contest before point A, and are losing the fight when Dogman is able to pop Transcendence and take out the Brigida. And between him, Ajax, and Hawk, they keep it going for a bit longer and allow Gator, who was picked off early, to get back and turn what looked like a lost fight into a one fight. First Generation is able to get a final push off, but Rob Dab on the Zen gets taken out early by Gator on the Rhine, and that starts the dominoes falling, leading to a point A hold by ATL Academy. On to attack, where First Gen is actually able to hold Atlanta very, very well, including forcing out some ults and managing to completely negate them. Saucy ends up landing a huge grab, which wipes out First Gen and lets Atlanta push the payload almost all the way, but they don't wait for the fight to come to them, as Gator sneaks into the tunnel next to the point and surprises Rob, who reacts with his transcendence. Gator holds his shatter and is able to create a huge opportunity with it during a bit of a rush defense, leading to Atlanta capitalizing on the situation and taking the fight, and therefore the point, winning Route 66 and the series. First Generation was a real test, and early aggression and smart play from them seemed to really shake Atlanta early and rattle a bit of their disciplined play and positioning. But the ATL Academy guys took a breath, pulled it back together, and really showed next level discipline to be able to take down a very, very good First Generation team. Big shout out to some massive shatters and charges from Gator and incredible play from Dogman, who was able to really turn around some of the later fights in the day. Frankly, everyone played really well and showed why they're the top team in NA contenders. We're taking next week off due to a holiday break, but we will be back in 2019 with the biggest match of our group against Fusion University, who just came off of a reverse sweep against Mayhem Academy. It's going to be some great Overwatch, so make sure to mark your calendars for January 2nd at 8.45 Eastern. Have a great holiday, and I'll see you then.